Thank you. Good. We got uh, some viewers coming online. Appreciate you guys joining the Auto Trader journey this morning. So let's uh, let's take a look behind the scenes here and see what's happening with the Auto Trader. Again, these this is a fully automated system. Uh, I'm not doing anything right now uh, other than just kind of moving the charts around to see what's happening here. Um, I was away for the weekend, so I got home at probably around seven and, and turned everything on Order around filled. seven this morning. So. I, uh, I probably missed a few trades on the uh, the gold this morning. Hey, Rue, good morning. Uh, Order submitted. Let me know in the in the chat there, Rue, how the um, how the uh, the gold and the the CL is doing for you today, or what you're trading. Love to hear your story. Um, so yeah, we've got a uh, we've got quite a few um, strategies up and rolling this morning. Wow, what a great morning to be a trader. Look at this right here, guys. Woo wee. Couldn't hardly pick Order a bad filled. one this morning so far. This uh, this drone right here is up a couple Order grand on filled. my machine. Yeah, on both of my machines, uh, two grand on both machines. The uh, the bot is uh, sixteen hundred up here. Um, down here looks like the haymaker is about two grand too. So uh, neck and neck right here, two grand already. Day is just getting started. Oh, we got a big gold trade right here. Uh, this one, um, so I have a, a, one of the new parameters uh, that we developed is uh, exit on proximity. So right here is a great example. It didn't hit the target yet. Order okay, failed. there it goes. It hit the target. Uh, I'll just kind of walk it back here a little bit. I want to show you. So if you guys look right here, this long exit on proximity uh, it was a parameter that we developed from uh, an idea that you guys gave us. Um, so what it what it is 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 you set a kind of like a window uh, away from your profit target of how many ticks, and if it gets in that window and it gets that latch, uh, the price can can move down that number of ticks, and then it'll take you out of the trade. This is a perfect example of when. Uh, was really beneficial to use that uh, again we were going long in this gold trade here um, and we drifted up but we didn't hit the target and then price pulled back on us but we had latched in uh, profits here and we exited on proximity that's what the uh, the new parameter will say uh, when you when you exit order submitted. Uh, so we had one there on the uh, signal a order filled. and then we had another one on signal a I think it was maybe its first trade on my machine. Again, this one was going short, and uh, it didn't make the, the target, but it started to drift back away, and it, it latched it in and took us out of Order the trade. Filled. So really excited for this new parameter um, that you guys will be getting. Hopefully, uh, if things keep going well on all of our machines, probably Wednesday uh, we'll release the new software with these new uh, new features in it for you. So boom, we got the uh, the signal A. I've got the the gold signal A. Uh, making some good money here on this machine. And again, I didn't get started till about seven or so on this machine because my other one is not up as good here. Um, take a look. Yeah, it looks like uh, the gold is about two hundred dollars on my other machine. So that one's been uh, actually that one I started even later. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're uh, we're rolling here. Look at this trade on the the NQ30 range signal A. This drone is out running. Big Order time. submitted. Hey Doc, good morning. Good to see you. Order thanks for uh, thanks for hanging Order out with us here. Oh boy, look at this one. This one's a good one. Oh man, let's get some uh, let's get some uh, accounts going here. Man, my PA had a nice trade this morning, but it's drifted way back already. I made 430, but it's, uh, shoot, it's down Order lower on the, the leaderboard. It's, it's down below the, the threshold of even being able to see where it's at now. Um, can hardly resist this uh, NQ30 range here. Order filled. Let's, uh, let's put this one to work on an account. I've got a few... Uh, few Apex account, accounts here to, to put to work today and uh, kind of go through some of the some of the uh, features uh, that we have and um, 
get this one rolling. So the NQ is uh, was pushing up Order pretty film. good this morning, and then uh, now has a nice pullback here at 9:30. But it's gonna. It looks like it's gonna return. I think the uh, the activity over the weekend is pushing her higher. I think that. Uh, Order, order, the conflict has got us going. Okay, so there was another uh, exit order on proximity. Uh, let's take a closer look at that new feature that you'll be getting. So um, we entered here. Uh, we were seeing that pullback. It, it went into our latch, our uh, profit window, and then, you know, started pulling back on us. So we closed the trade. Uh, with a nice big winner. Order filled. But, uh, you know, hey, who knows where it's going from here. Maybe it can, you know, continue up. Maybe it'll go down. Who knows? But uh, we sealed in the profit. So that, uh, and it's a flexible parameter to where you guys can, you know, put your own numbers. But we'll, uh, Order filled. we'll put it out with, Order uh, submitted. you know, with the numbers that, that we think are, are the best. And then you can adjust them as you see fit. I'll kind of go through those, uh, as I set up one on my live account here. Order filled. So the um, the new parameters. Order submitted. Uh, I'm gonna do a, a new strategy again. If you guys were own the software, you would just open one of these that are doing well. Typically like the first one right here, you would just uh, you Order know, disable it, right click on it, scroll down in the parameter set to where it says account and just change it to whatever account you want and then then hit the uh, OK and then re-enable it. That's that's all it takes to to put one of these automated Order strategies failed. on a, a live account. Uh, but because I like to keep the data intact, Order I don't failed. I don't do that. I create a new one, the exact same one. Order submitted. Uh, but uh, it's, it looks it looks a little different. So I do new strategy. And I go get the exact same template. But because we share the data back with you guys, I like to keep the integrity of the of the SIM account going. I don't mess with it. So let me bring this over where you can see it. Um, I go to, I, first of all, I think you might have only maybe this one, or if you have other um, strategies, you might have more like I do here. But, but this one's the AutoTrader P. And um, I go to template and load order, it. Order filled. And we're going to go with that uh, signal A, NQ 30 range signal A drone. A uh, few changes with the drone. We now modified it to where it honors the daily order filled. profit and loss limits. Uh, before we allowed the drones to just trade all shift. Uh, we've we've restricted them now, um, pulled them back now. Let me see a second here. We I'll have to ask Sergio. It doesn't look like we're actually honoring it on this one. I'll have to I'll have to mention it to him that it doesn't look like it's working here uh, because we wanna we wanna try to use those limits um, to not uh, get too far away one side or the other. Um, so I'll have to mention it to him real quick. Let me send him a Skype message. It doesn't look like they're they're working on this particular drone. But that, that is going to be the goal, is that the Order, drones will stop failed. at their daily uh, profit and loss targets. Um, so let's uh, let's get this one going. I um, These accounts that I have, um, they're the $100,000 accounts. The, you can trade two contracts. So... Um, I want to set my Order limits submitted. here. I'm just trying to think about my limits. I'll bring over the R Trader Pro and maybe we can kind of do a little bit of research together. So this is the uh, these are the accounts that I have right now. Again, I made one trade on the uh, the gold uh, signal A this morning, I got a $422 uh, win for my PA account. Um, but I have these other uh, evals that we can work with. Um, so let's uh, let's do this one, number 440. And uh, I need about $1,500 more dollars. And 
and I could lose. So the, uh, the drawdown on those is, uh, it's a static, so from zero, as long as you get away from zero, you know, your, your, your drawdown continues to be whatever profit you have plus the 625. So I can go 625 plus 500, Order so about 1100, so about $1,200. So just giving myself room to to you know lose the eval or or make it to to payday here with it. Um, Order filled. Other things that I'll do is I want to kind of you know make sure the instruments properly set here with the NQ. I'll uh, leave everything else the same. Really like that strategy. Uh, new parameter is is right here. <laughs> we call it profit target window. Uh, so on the NQ. Again, this strategy we have is a 200 tick target profit, and uh, we're setting that latch at 40 ticks away. So at 160 ticks, we seal in profit, and we can go all the way back down to 120 ticks, and it'll take us out of that trade. Uh, but it'll it'll allow it to go those 80 ticks up and down. Either it can hit a profit Order target, submitted. or it'll hit the uh, the exit on the uh, profit target window. So here we wanted number 440. Order submitted. Order order filled. Okay, so we should be up and rolling. Order That's, filled. Uh, what I do is switch this around so we're good. Okay. So we missed the short trade. I don't think I'm too worried about that. I was thinking this was going to go long. So yeah, we uh, on the Apex account. I think we're set up, in my opinion, where we where we want to be. Order so we're down filled. here. We're going to take order, this trade in just a split filled. second. As you see, this order little yellow submitted. line coming up, uh, the uh, the auto trader should jump in here if I uh, set it up right. Uh, it's going to close this candle and take the trade for us. Order order filled. Get the trade. Let me. Um, I think we may have lost the trigger Order there at filled. the last minute. Order submit. Let's Order. See. Okay, Order good. We submitted. just took that trade now. Order so, filled. Uh, Order submit. Order submitted. Order filled. Order submitted. 440. We went ahead and took that trade automatically there as we just set it up. So let's see if we can uh, move this one to a little bit closer to payday here. If you guys have our system out there, I'd like to, to hear which one's your uh, your best this morning. Let's take a look at mine on my machine here. I got started around 7 this morning, um, so I might have a... Oh, no, David, you can't hear me. Oh, no. Wow, I had a heck of a time on Friday with my audio. <laughs> Jesus. Um, oh. Seriously, David, no, can't hear me. Can anybody hear me? Uh, painful. Okay, thank you, Charles. I appreciate that. Uh, David, not sure um, on your end there. Oh, Rue, past the apex. Way to go, Rue. Awesome, man. Order filled. Proud Order of you. Filled. Way to Order go. Order filled. Great. We just, uh, we just moved this one. Uh, we just uh, got this one uh, to pop into, into payday here. Oh, thanks, Scott. Appreciate it. Welcome this morning. Johan, awesome. Hope the auto trader's treating you well. Patrick, good morning. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys joining us here at the auto trader journey. Um... So yeah, I just uh, just got this one dropped in, and uh, we we took this trade right here. Order filled. Uh, we're gonna try to push up. We'll see. Uh, if not, we got this uh, this uh, sealed in with our fifty dollars here. Keeps us out of trouble. Kind of get a uh, I'll bring this over. Get our little window here set up. Order filled. So trading's pretty easy with the auto trader. You know, just kind of. Do a little bit of setup behind the scenes, but after you get it set up, you pretty much just kind of heckle it, let it let it do its thing, and 
and say, hey, I wouldn't have done that. I would have done that, you know, that kind of thing. And Order um, filled. That makes it a better experience. Oh, thank you, David. Tripping me up here. I like speed bumps. You got me on this one this morning. Uh, yeah, Friday. Boy, I really apologize if you guys were trying to join Friday. Um, kind of the backstory. I have a team meeting at 8.30 every morning with the team, and we use Skype. Skype is our, our software that we use to do video meetings. And I needed to drop the meeting so I could open this, and, and some of the team stayed on. And I guess Skype held on to my audio through Skype. And when I started this other software that we used to interface with YouTube, it's called OBS, it had the mic attached to Skype and it couldn't get it. And um, yeah, Brock had to help me out and finally got it. All right, Chad, good morning. Uh, Chad, we, uh, we're running the um, NQ 30 range signal A this morning on a, an Apex account. I had the uh, my PA on the, the gold this morning and uh, took a nice trade. I cut it a little short there, but uh, so once you get to, to the PA, kind of just a little bit of the rules, you have to trade for um, 10 days uh, to get paid. So I really just need to make a nice trade, you know, for the next uh, few days to get these to payday. Uh, so that's kind of the sort of the behind the scenes of of why I sort of just take one trade or whatever with that account. It really doesn't do you any good to, I'll say, pad the profit in those uh, right away because you the way this one works, and these are the $100,000 statics, um, the way it works is I can ask for $1,000 every 15 days. So you got to hold on to this thing for that long, and, you know, they're hard to hold on to. <laughs> <laughs> They're hard to hold on to. But you get them up. Uh, again, this was a $100,000 static. It's at four four thousand eight hundred. So I can take four, basically four paydays. So I gotta, I have to keep it for, I guess, 30 more days of trading. Um, and then they have this 30% rule too. Uh, which is a little nebulous. It's a little hard to understand what that really means. Um, I haven't actually heard anybody, you know, in any of the forums Order complaining submitted. about not being paid because of it. Um, so I'm not sure, you know, sort of what that exactly means. I've never had an issue, so um, I'll, I'll continue to kind of to make trades. I actually lost money in this one on Friday. Uh, man, I lost money everywhere Friday. Ugh, Order gosh. filled. It was a bad day for me Friday. Um, the morning started shaky. The YouTube went terrible, and then, uh, and then in the afternoon I lost money. So um, I'm hoping for Order a filled. recovery today. Looks like this is a nice trade to get in right off the bat. I want to get my trade copier going too. This would have been a perfect time to do it. Uh, let's go ahead and show the trade copier. Man, you can <laughs> you can really make some order, money once you do this little filled. thing. It'll turn this five hundred dollar trade into uh, a five thousand dollar trade quickly. So this is the uh, this is the trade copier. I use this one right here. It's, it's Replicanto by Flowbot. Um, pretty simple little unit here. What I'll do is I'm gonna. I want to use this order submitted the same strategy for it. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one. Now here's the cool thing: I can actually just use the uh, the sim account as well. So it's the exact same thing. Um, so I could go down here and grab this uh, exact same strategy to replicate. And it is a really, uh, it's almost a replication. It's, it's not truly, Order when, I heard first, when I first heard about trade copiers, I thought, okay, cool. It's just going to take the exact entries Order and the exact help. exits and copy them. Not the case. Not the case. That's not how it works at all. Uh, how it works is this leader account takes the trade, and then the other accounts take that same trade. 
So you'll get different entries um, by a few ticks, just like if I was on Sim and my live account, they get different entries. Oh, you know, I like to show that too to prove that the system, when we show Sim numbers, that they're that they're the same. And let me make sure the, the no, we're out of sequence. I would, I'm out of sequence with the drone. Order filled. What I mean by that is I took this entry. It was still in a trade, so it didn't enter here. Uh, it's a little complicated. I'm a little backwards from the uh, from the sim Order drone submitted. right now. Order filled. Okay, Charles dropping uh, dropping some information in there. Thank you, Charles. Um, kind of explaining to us how that 30% uh, consistency rule works. Take your max profit day, divided by 30. Order submitted. And that is the Order goal filled. Amount you need to reach to qualify for a payout. Okay. You have to draw me a stick man to that, Charles. <laughs> I can't still figure it out. Uh, the way I've been doing it is just trading like like I do all the time. You know, one or two contracts, and um, you know, try to try to be you know consistent as far Order as that fills. goes. Okay, I'm out of sequence with the uh, with the drone here. Um, so it took the trade in a different uh, different spot. I want to get back in. Uh, definitely want to get back in sequence with it here. I'll show what I mean in a second. So the 30 range drone. I'll just kind of build it over here and show you what I mean. I'm gonna open the indicators for some reason. I don't see my um, my crosses on the chart here, so I just want to make sure they're set for signal A. We don't have that as a parameter. So to get the uh, crosses to show up properly, you can go into indicators right here, and Order then go into failed. your uh, settings, and just they should emulate your strategy. So right here, all those settings should be correct. Just make sure I don't have B. Yep. Okay. So it should show the crosses now. Yeah, it did. So it took the entry here, but I was still in this trade on my live account, so we're out of sequence, what I mean by that. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna disable my Apex account real quick, and then we'll catch back up with the drone in a minute. Order submitted. Kind of like to be in sequence with it so that we can show the entries uh, of a live account and a drone. Um, Order filled. Hmm. Order submitted. Order submitted. Which way are we going to go from 18.3? We going up or down, guys? Hey, Rory, good morning. Thanks for checking this out. Um, I was thinking about disabling, but I think we're going to get this entry right here, and I definitely think Order we want to go along. Order filled. So I'll stay out of sequence for a minute just to just to get, catch this trade here. Order filled. Order filled. Order awful. Filled. Good morning. The auto trader is doing the thing here. Just sitting back watching. Let's uh, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Boy, what a leaderboard already this morning. This uh, this thirty range drone came out of the gate swinging, up twenty two hundred bucks. 
I do have a couple of new parameters in the software that, that you don't have yet. Uh, we're testing them here on this end. In fact, good thing we are because uh, we want to stop the drones at, at their, their daily profit and loss target. Uh, so um, not sure if Order it's exactly submitted. working. I'll have to get that with Sergio and show them. Um, but uh, down here filled. we've got a, a couple of good strategies. The NQs uh, rising to the top, followed by the GC. Had a nice trade. I took one on my PA account this morning. Uh, try to make sure that I can uh, keep that thing uh, rolling and and get paid here. And then um, the NQ again. So we've got uh, a lot of NQ and GC. Got one RTY rising up here. All right, thanks again for everybody who joined the Auto Trader over the weekend. Wow, we sold about 10 Auto Traders, a couple lifetimes, about four or five annuals, and a few monthlies. Thank you for joining the Auto Trader journey. Really appreciate it. I've got a team behind me that supports the system. And, um, Order filled. You know, we, we try our Order best filled. to develop Order a piece filled. of software that's uh, profitable. Um, and uh, we'll try to show it off here and see if we can uh, make some money and have some fun together. Order filled. I, I'll just tell you, I used to trade, you know, discretionary and still do. But boy, the pressure that, you know, <laughs> manually trading is compared to an auto trader is much different. Uh, even though I might lose this trade Order right here, filled. I'm still happy I don't have to pay attention to what's going on hardly. Order submitted. I'm going to uh, do a, a, a trade copier here in a few seconds. Um, get these. Uh, I'd like to get these two in sequence here. Uh, let me see. How Order I submitted. Uh, what should I do? Hmm. Order submitted. Trying to think of the best way to get them in sequence. I guess uh, I guess I'll kill this trade on mine here. Order submitted. What happened is I turned it on at a different time on my Apex account, so it was you know the the drone was taking trades that way and I was taking trades the other way. I want them. I want them in sequence so I can show the entries uh, when they when they both take entries together, so we can see what a what a live Order account submitted. would do on an entry and then a sim account. I don't like messing with the sim accounts because again I like the integrity of the data. We share that Order back with uh, all of our clients and Discord our results, so I don't mess with those. Uh, so I'll keep messing with this one to get it uh, caught up. So after this one takes a trade and goes out, I'll go ahead and set it up. Order we can get our, um, get our trade copier going in the meantime. Order filled. Uh, okay, so we'll get the trade copier up here. I already opened it. Um, Order filled. Again, we're going to follow the drone, uh, which is this guy right here. We're going to follow this one. Order and filled. let's go see what accounts we want to run it on. So we've got uh, 436, 444, and again it won't be able to, it won't turn green because this is in a trade, it knows that it's in a Order trade submitted. so it can't copy it right now. But I believe if I get it set up on its next entry it should take the trade with it. So 436, 444, 
446. Order, order filled. Order, order filled. Order submitted. So that's kind of the way you set up a, a trade cop, or you can set it up on whatever, any account. It could have been in my, um, it could have been another Apex account. It could be a SIM account. Um, if I was running my live account, it could be my live account. Uh, but that's kind of how we get it set up. So when this drone takes its next trade, these should also take a trade as well. Order filled. And we'll look at the entries. They won't be the same, but they'll be similar. Order filled. Order submitted. Order submitted. Or order filled. Wow, look at that drone go. Holy moly. Man. He's making big time cash today. It's up twenty six hundred bucks. Hands free trading. How about that? Too good to be true. Order filled. Man, my other machine's up to thirty three hundred on that drone. Hmm. That's a juicy trade, guys. Holy moly. Hey, Kim, good morning. Uh, are you trading gold today, Kim? Today's a pretty good day to trade gold. Order submitted. I see gold all over my leaderboard. I traded it this Order morning. Order submitted. Order filled. Signal B is killing it, Patrick. Let's go. Thanks for joining us, Patrick. Um, this is fun, huh? Order filled. Order, order, order filled. Boom, baby. Shock lock. Order filled. All right, so this thing just livened up here. Order filled. Uh, the, uh, order filled. The drone is now free, um, and, and these turn green. Just want to kind order, of order show filled. that. So the next trade that the drone jumps in, uh, we'll be in it here with all those. And I wanted to bring order this one submitted. in, number two, number 440 as well. Order filled. Order submitted. Okay, so all the accounts, all the evals that I've got will uh, order will filled. jump in uh, if this thing, uh, you know, retraces or whatever. Next signal uh, for this one, it'll it'll jump in. Uh, Rue, um, question there you order got submitted. is. Um, how do you, looks like we're going to get a long signal here, so we'll, we'll jump in, in a lot of trades here Order going Order filled. Um, how do you log in the same time for Ninja and Rhythmic? Um, that one I'm not 100% sure of. Uh, I think you can only do one. Order filled. Um, I can only do one, I know that. So... Right here in Rhythmic, I, I can only start this one. On my other machine, I have Continuum. I, I run my live account on the other machine. Uh, so, so I've got this one uh, enabled on my Order filled. my other machine up there. Um, and then I use this one for, for the Apex. So I don't think you can. Order filled. I, I don't think you can Order have two filled. data communications open at one time, Rue. RN, good morning. Order filled. Ah! Missed that trade in a lot of accounts. Okay, so we can see it right there. Yeah, um, we uh, we lost that in, in all those accounts. Order that's, that's how it works. Uh, take you out in a whole bunch or make you a ton of money in a lot of them. And I've made a bunch of money on some of Order these sometimes. Submitted. And usually I've done videos and you guys probably have seen those. But man, you can run up the score quick when you use this thing make you look like uh like a liar you know when you say you made fifteen thousand dollars in a day someone's like yeah right uh rn good morning now i see you have two nq30 range signal a drones uh what is the Order difference filled. between the two um, okay, so we have Order one, submitted. it's called uh, Signal A, so we have two entry Order signals, filled. and they're automated entry signals. Um, we have two different automated entry signals that you could use. One we call Signal A. Order submitted. Oh, sorry, Signal A drones. Okay, let me, uh, let me get my head straight. Um, we have a Signal A drone, and then we got a Signal A bot. 
let me make sure I'm getting the question right. Um, so here's here's like the signal a drone, and then here's the signal a bot. If if you're asking about those two, the uh, the difference there is that the drone takes the trades with static stops and targets. We take the MFE and the MAE, which is the maximum forward and the maximum adverse excursion throughout that trade. We take those high water, low water marks of the price in that trade, move it to an uh, AI model database, and then we we have a you know an, an algorithm in there that's that's trying to deliver Order submitted. back to the bot. You know, it's best stops and targets Order inside failed. those Order outer failed. limits, so it's always smaller. Uh, and it's trying to reduce risk is what it's trying to do and trying to give us some predictive value. Um, Order filled. You know, us as traders know that the market is pretty wild Order. and not Order like filled. repetitive. So, um, you know, if it was consistently, you know, up 100, down 100, you know, that would be something that you could really work with. But uh, we've got an AI model there trying to predict our best stops and targets. So th those are the two between a drone and a bot, those are kind of the differences. And then if uh, if you were asking, you know, more about a signal A drone and a signal B drone, uh, the signal A is is our the trigger here, the entry when this little yellow line comes out of either the the red box here or the green box. Order filled. Um, so it popped out right Order here submitted. and it put this cross on the chart, and it took the entry on the next candle. Um, and that's our signal A entry. Signal B pops in right Order here when submitted. this Laguerre, this yellow line is, is pegged, either all the way up or all the way down. So it's really a trend trigger uh, entry. Um, so that's, that's the, those are the B, that's the B signal. So we have two different entries that we've developed so far. Uh, we're kind of working on another one uh, behind the scenes here, but these are the two that we have right now. Got a pretty good little trade going on right here. <clears throat> okay, good. Let's uh, let's take a look. This is one of my favorite things to do. Kind of show a, a sim entry. This is the sim account here. Order submitted. And I like to look at the entries. Or order filled. Uh, so eighteen two oh nine point five. Uh, over here we had this long entry. Uh, eighteen two oh nine point seven five. So we were one tick uh, in this case behind. Order filled. On our live account. Uh, so that's kind of the way it shook out on this one. And I'll have to mention it to Sergio here. I've got some text Order here that we filled. typically don't have. So, again, this is our R&D machine. Um, and I always do all the R&D, and I, I make sure that, you know, that all these features work properly before we, you know, give them to you guys. So I've seen two little problems that we have to fix this morning. Uh, one of them is that the drone didn't stop trading at its profit daily profit limit. We do want to stop them now um, to try to try to reduce the big swings, and this one wasn't wasn't stopping. So we gotta we gotta look at the programming and, and, and modify the code for that drone. Not stopping. Okay. And then the second thing is we usually don't have this text right here, so we'll have to see what that's doing. We always have the entry place there, but um, we usually don't put the number next to it. It usually says long entry uh, one at the number, so we'll just uh, we'll get rid of that other text. Order submitted. There. Order submitted. Order filled. Okay, nice trade Orders. right here, guys. Orders Let's go. Submitted. Let's get a thousand dollars. Come on. Mm. And uh, we're running this sucker on a lot of them. Order filled. So we're in our. Uh, we we should be latched in here now with our exit on proximity. Rory Powers, thank you very much for working with the YouTube subscribers here and. 
uh, got us into a, a profit no matter what at 160 ticks. So uh, this trade Order went against filled. us. Woo, way to go, guys. All right. Mm -hmm. Got that thing on a lot of them. Look at that, $700. So now you can say, hey, I just made, um, I don't know what that was. Anyway, a lot of money on one trade. Order filled. Looks like I got another one here I missed. Okay, nice trade. Way to go. So that's how you can really run up the score and make some serious money. I've made a lot of money. I want to share that with you guys. That this is uh, that's the way that's the way it goes down. There's no other fancy footwork besides that right there. Um, Order put filled. That, uh, trade copier to work and. You know, you buy those accounts right now. These accounts for me are are twenty eight bucks, twenty seven dollars and something. They're the hundred thousand uh, dollar static drawdowns, and um, you know you can get them past fairly easy. Order it takes submitted. two thousand bucks of profit uh, to get them to the PA, and then once you're at the PA, you got to get twenty six hundred. Uh, once you get to twenty six hundred, so this is just one example. This one's a PA. It's at um, four thousand eight hundred. I needed I needed to get it to twenty six hundred to ask for two thousand dollars. Order filled. So now that I'm at you know four thousand whatever, I can ask for four thousand dollars back on it. But you have to trade it. You know, there's all these kinds of rules, right? There's all kind of speed bumps that you have to learn. Uh, but uh, now um, I have to uh, trade it for you know Order ten, ten days ten I don't know if it's I don't think it's consecutive I think it's just ten days uh, before you can ask for the first thousand and then I have to trade it for ten more days to ask for another thousand so you know I just try to make a one or two trades a day to, to keep it alive order order filled okay we just jumped in another one this time we're trying to go short but I don't think it's very likely, but we'll see. So again, all of them, all of them uh, jumped in. Let's take a look at the entry here. So again, this is the SIM account. Looks like it got the entry at 18244.5. And the uh, this, the uh, Apex account here looks like at uh, 244.75. So again, one tick uh, difference here. And Order filled. Been doing this for a while, and you wouldn't think a tick is much. <laughs> but man, when you look at the profit at the end of the week, you know, from one computer to the next. Order submitted. It doesn't make sense to you how they could be so far off. But then when you start to drill into every single trade and you see that, oh my gosh, that one hit, you know, the stop loss and this one made it to full profit target and you're like, oh, shit, that's why. That's why. Uh, it's a huge difference. Um, you know, one time one will lose 250, then we'll make 1,000. That's a huge difference. Uh, so far this Order morning, submitted. I guess I turned mine on at different times. So that's, uh, that's always a challenge too. When you turn them on, is it matters big time. It matters big time. Order filled. So uh, you guys out there watching, if you uh, have it running on your machines, if you could just drop in what your uh, what your winning strategy so far this morning is. See if I see if I line up with you. Uh, the haymaker's done trading for the day here on my Order machine. To Order submitted. This one is uh, respecting the uh, daily uh, profit target at two thousand. Order, order filled. And they all will uh, soon. Okay, so I didn't see this trade going short order again, but submitted. it did, and uh, that's why I'm not a good trader. <laughs> I'm not a good trader. Order. I filled. give up. I order let the filled. robot do it now. Order, and, and order just, filled. Uh, enjoy order submitted. It. Enjoy trading now more than I ever did. Uh, so we got a good one here, a Zinger, this NQ30 range. Wow, look at this thing's up to four grand. 
Oh my goodness gracious. That's serious cash. So a new feature coming to you will be this uh, Exodon Proximity. Oh, M and Q. Wild gills. I've heard some bad things about the M and Q data, so we're concerned about that. When I will Order say, filled. I Order I don't trade the M and Q, so I or wish I could. Uh, I Order actually, submitted. Actually, what Sergio did on our on his machine there in his office, uh, he he did get one going on M and Q because we did hear that that the data is lagging. Um, so so we're looking at it. We don't know why yet, uh, but that is a huge concern. So we will. I'll take your note there and, and share that back with Sergio. Uh, we did get on one person's computer, um, uh, Min is her name, and um, th she actually called, uh, I guess, the computer company, and they did some things, and she Order said, oh, that's good again. And uh, we really didn't get to see, Order you know, Sergio filled. didn't get to actually look at it. So, Order filled. Um, you know, Gills, if, if, you, if you wouldn't mind, maybe you can drop a... A phone call into to Rory, and we can um, you know schedule a time where Charles and Sergio could get on your machine and see if there's something there that we could learn. Order, order filled. So we have a new parameter. It looks like we got close to it, but we didn't get it. So the uh, the new parameter that I have going on in this one is called Exodon Proximity. I'll show you show you guys what that is. Uh, you'll be getting it hopefully Wednesday. Ah, man. Uh, so I've got it set at forty ticks away from uh, my profit limit here. Um, we'll get a ruler out here and just see how close we were. Order fifty three ticks. Too bad. Uh, so the exit on proximity. Uh, will um, show that guy again. So the we got our fifty bucks. You know I can't complain too bad. That was a that was a nice trade. We made fifty bucks. Uh, but anyway, hell? the Exodon proximity. It's a it's a parameter now in the, in the parameter list, and I have it currently set at forty ticks. So if this price would have got forty ticks away from the profit target, order submitted would have locked in, and. It would allow the price to go 40 more ticks away from our profit target and it would have sh shut us down out of the trade. Order filled. But we Order didn't quite submitted. have the window big enough and I think that'll be a balance trying to figure out what the right size window is. So, um, 53 was a little too many. I'll show you that, uh, that parameter here. So that new parameter is uh, is right here, down here in the uh, trade management uh, profit target window. I'll open up the uh, the drone strategy there, and we can look at it. it. Should be set at forty ticks. Order filled. Okay, we just dropped in another short trade there. So this is the uh, the trade management that we have for this particular strategy that we're watching here. It's a it's a uh, fifty uh, tick stop loss. So it's a two hundred and fifty dollar loss and um, a one thousand dollar target. Now we're doing some other action with the stop loss. We're we're moving it to to break even at sixty ticks. I oh, know. Sorry, we're we're moving it to eleven ticks. As if the price gets to six sixty ticks away we're moving our stop loss to plus 11. Uh, but then we also have this new parameter I was trying to show here, uh, profit target window. Now that is the one that's like the latch. Again, if, it, if price got 40 ticks away from this blue line right here, it would allow price to drift another 40 ticks away and then, and then close the trade for us. Other uh, new parameter, <coughs> other new filled. parameters that we were working on are. Um, hmm, where are they? Oh, 
quote times. Um, so we added more time slot windows for you um, right here. Uh, so, so now you can wake the robot up and put them to sleep uh, up to three different shifts in a 20 hour, 24 hour period. So if you want to add a second uh, trading window, uh, you can just click these little uh, these little blocks, and you can add different um, order filled. You know, trading windows if you if you feel like there's a a window of opportunity at maybe like um, you know I've heard gold and other things that uh, maybe come in, come online in Europe or or somewhere else, uh, and you want to trade those windows, uh, you know, along with other maybe the maybe the 9:30 bell and then the the I think it was called the European or something. Uh, you can now put those other uh, windows in here if you like. I'll call those the two big ones that, that you'll mostly mess with um, on your end. Uh, some on our end that you know we we've got the drone and the bot locked in now uh, so they shouldn't take trades out of sequence and we also have the drones well we should have the drone shortly where they'll only hit their profit target uh, or, or loss target for the day and then and then order trade. build. Um, so we'll we'll get with Sergio it looks like <laughs> Looks like it's not working today. This one's up to four grand. Order submitted. Should have stopped at two grand. Okay, cool, Kim. Playing the uh, playing the signal A two on the GC a little bit. So looks like we took another entry here. Just kind of do another. Little preview of the entry price: um, eighteen two forty four on the sim account. Order on the filled. Live account Order here. filled. Okay, this one's a little bit further off than normal. This one's six ticks off. Uh, looks like the live account took it at two twenty five point five, and uh, sim took it at two twenty four point zero. So that was six ticks difference. That's, that's a lot more than normal. Uh, the other day I did see eight ticks too, so once in a while we see a, a little bit bigger disparity. Order submitted. So here's the uh, here's the dashboard for this uh, software called Apex. Uh, uh, sorry, Rhythmic uh, R Trader Pro. Um, if you decided to to go with Apex accounts, um, I guess they give you this software for free. I don't even remember downloading it, but I must have downloaded it somewhere from their website Order or somewhere. Order submitted. And uh, it keeps track of your uh, your accounts for you, you know, with a lot of different Order data. Order submitted. The, the main columns Order for me are P and L, and then. Order and filled. then balance. Um, I I strictly use the hundred thousand uh, dollar two contract static drawdown accounts now. Um, I just don't like that trailing drawdown constantly having to worry about where it is. Order filled. Uh, so these static. Order submitted. Uh, it's six twenty five in the hole and you lose them. Um, so it makes it easy to keep up with, uh, especially when I trade so many at one time. Uh, looks like a you know mostly over here I've got you know looks like one thousand one hundred and eleven on this one uh, so you know we're we're about halfway through the eval on some of these if we can get one more home run out of these uh, we'll uh, we'll close a couple of these down order submitted if we go backwards we'll have to keep in in the ring and take another swing. Order filled. Order filled. Okay, we got a couple of YMs coming up here big time. Looks like we're in six, seven hundred dollar range. Filled. Uh, this YM signal A has been a really good one for a long time. Uh, when I look at my uh, data analysis, uh, this one's uh, been strong Order since submitted. we developed it months ago. Ooh, -wee, look at this. Goal. Order filled. All right. Two grand on the signal A. GC. 
Look at that entry right there coming off this one. Boom. Stopped out, came back with a, a long entry, and it fouled this thing up. It was able to... This is... This is... <laughs> This takes balls Order of steel submitted. to make this trade. It, it run it up, and then it came all the way back. So you were down again. But Order boom, submitted. Retraced into the, the good and, and made a long target. That's an awesome trade right there. Oof. That one you would just not have to pay attention to. Order submitted. Yeah, David, the reason I stick with these statics is I just can't stand that, that drawdown constantly. I, I'm a simple person. I don't want to keep up with, uh, with the next number. What I mean by that is all I worry about now is that I'm above 100,000 because it's a static drawdown. And the other ones, the ones that are uh, trailing drawdown, I have to always look over here and figure out how much I, you know, how much room I have. And as I move away, you know, it follows me down and I lose a trade. Now I'm closer and I'm, you know, within the limit. So I, for me, I do it for simplicity. Again, I trade a lot of, a lot of accounts, so I can't really keep up with them like that if I trade multiples. Um, I know it gives you a lot bigger window though. And I guess it's probably that adage, once you, you know, figure out something that works, it ain't broke, don't fix it. I think that's what I've rallied around. I did have a $300,000 account that I, I made, made it to, to PA, and um, it was constantly, Order I was trying submitted. to work with the static, or the uh, trailing drawdown, and it, it kind of drove me crazy. Order filled. Order order filled. Maybe you can add order a little more submitted. to that chat, what you mean by a, a time calendar. Order um, filled. Order filled. And maybe you're maybe you're mentioning it order probably submitted. to the fact of the maybe the different markets opening. Is is that what you mean? Looks like we uh, we jumped in short here with the uh, the Apex accounts again. Take a look at the entry. It looks like we entered a uh, sim at uh, two seven. I'm sorry. Order filled. Two twenty seven point seven five. Order submitted. Looks like we entered uh, Apex at two twenty seven point five. So it looks like a one tick uh, difference. Order on that filled. All right, out there, give me a give me a heads up. What's working for you this morning? Would like to know uh, that your guys' machines are zinging along like mine is. I've got uh, I've got access to to three machines here. You know, I've not, I haven't been on our uh, server in a while. Sergio's been working our uh, VPS, um, trying to get it up to speed. And we've seen a lot of stuff in Discord, too, so I've been kind of following that, you know, which uh, VPSs you guys are recommending or using. Uh, we have one uh, from this, <laughs> it's a European company, and uh, Order submitted. we had to move the server from Germany to, to the U.S., so we've kind of, I don't think we're in a great position to share, you know, because I don't like what we've got yet. Um, so Order I've been kind of listening to what you guys are putting in Discord, and maybe, maybe we'll kind of copy one of those ideas. What I've got right now, though, is uh, Order a company called uh, Contabo. 
and it's not a bad price. I'm only paying forty dollars a month, and it is sixteen uh, gig of Order RAM. Failed. So it is a pretty strong, you know, Order VPS. But we've Order had issues failed. with it too, just like I, I read in Discord where um, Order failed. You know, drop data, those kind of things. I, I really bought a VPS thinking Order, that, Order failed. You know, it was going to be the cat's Order meow. Failed. I wouldn't have to mess with it, but. It looks like it's the same old story. Order it's failed. another computer that has to be babied, uh, just like the rest of them. So, order submitted. If we get something solid, order I would failed. definitely share it, though. Order filled. We uh, found some consolidation order zones here. Or, or, order submitted. I'd like to break out order of this thing right now. Order filled. Order f Order submitted. There we go. Now we got a order winner. submitted. Now we order got a winner. Submitted. Let's go, guys. Order let's filled. Let's go. Woo! Let's take order this thing. Filled. Oh! All right. So we got order a big filled. trade right here. Order submitted. We got to break this one pivot down here. And again, to get in our uh, profit window, Order we got to get 40 ticks away from price. Uh, I'm sorry, from the profit target. So let's draw a line at Order 40 filled. ticks. Order filled. Order filled. There's 50. Order, or, order filled. Order submitted. So there's Order our filled. there's our goal line uh, for profit. Let's see if we can break this. Order oh, filled. Come on, baby. Fly through like butter. All right. So once you kind of get these, you know, going and you're rolling, it's nice to bring this R Trader Pro up and just kind of keep your eye on this uh, this number here. You know, we're looking at looking for this thing to hit two thousand. So once Order it gets 2,000, you have to disable it, right? That's sort of the trick play there. Uh, disable that guy. We're going to squeeze this thing down. We don't want to lose this and break our heart here. Like we're gonna build enough support to push that price up. Close this out of the five hundred dollar trade. Order submitted. Order submitted. Oh, the other ones didn't close. <laughs> Cause they're on the sim. Oh, that's funny. I only closed one of them. Oh, that's funny. What 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 happened there is I only closed one trade. <laughs> I'm running I'm running the sim account here that's the leader account and then I'm I'm copying it to all these other ones and 440 right here I moved the the profit target and I didn't move any of the other ones to to get that trade to close on all of them I would have needed to move the drone but again I don't do that I don't mess with the stops or targets on any of our sim accounts so uh I, Probably should just close them all, um, I guess, individually here. Dang. So typically, I, I run it on one of my Apex accounts, but I just wanted to show that you could run it on a... Um... Order submitted. Oh, boy, that was a bummer. We made our $50, but that was... Uh, I'm, I'm going to switch this up here. We're going we're gonna to run it on one of the ones that we can mess with uh, over here, not, not the drone. I don't want to... 
So it's really the same exact thing. This uh, this this strategy is is running the the same account. So uh, now I gotta switch this around a little bit. Order filled. Yeah, it takes it out. So so when this one enters, uh, it'll all these other ones will follow it. That way I can move my you know my target around a little bit, and it moves all of them. Order filled. Order filled. So we're doing pretty good this morning, guys. Order we submitted. Five, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 500. Order submitted. About 3,500 bucks already today. Woo! Order filled. Order submitted. Order filled. So looking at the leaderboard, looks like uh, we've got the NQ strong, strong today. Order filled. Uh, followed by the GC. Uh, GC Signal A really, really doing well, and then GC Signal B. I want to show you guys the Signal B. GC Signal B. Man, it helped me make a bunch of money the other day, too. Order filled. The News Day. Oh, my gosh. The News Day, that thing was ringing like a cash register for Order me. Order filled. It moved about six accounts uh, to PA for me. I'll show you that trade. Um, man, that was huge. It uh it rolled sixty three trades in about an hour, I think it was an hour, uh, and it made it two thousand, I can't remember twenty two hundred dollars or something like that. Uh, but that was GC Signal B. Let me show you that trade performance of that one. That one's the hottest one that I've got by far on this machine. I'll show that trade performance in a second here. This one is super duper hot. And just to be clear, they don't have winning days every day. Order That's filled. the thing. Um, if you get frustrated and you don't get winning days every day or every strategy be a winner, this isn't for you. This isn't the, the software for you at all. Uh, this one loses, um, and it makes money, and it loses money. Uh, but I want to show you this, this darn uh, GC Signal B. So I want to actually show how to get into trade performance too. We've got a lot of new new clients, so I want to share whatever I can to help Order uh, get everybody up to speed here. Order filled. Um, coach, if you're watching or or if you're out there, uh, you were mentioning, you know, hey, could I help you, you know, get set up with the best, you know, strategies and uh, which ones to trade and, you know, first of all, we're not financial advisors. Actually, let me bring that over. This is really really important. To keep doing this, we have to. We have to share this information on a regular basis, but uh, you know, all signals and um, trading opportunities, uh, both orally or written or electronically, uh, that are disclosed uh, here today uh, are really for educational and demonstrational purposes only. Me or my team are not financial advisors. Uh, their uh, trading uh, has a substantial amount of risk, and not many traders are successful. Not many at all. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm a trader just like you guys, trying to make money every day. Um, Friday I got smoked. Uh, today is a better day. Uh, here we can um, bring this one back in now. Uh, but I wanted to show the, uh, the GC and really how you could look into the data too and try to figure out which ones to trade. And that's what he was after. He's like, hey, which one should I trade? And um, you know, all I know is on the data. That's all I can tell you. I don't have no idea where it's going, where price is going. I don't pay attention enough Order to news submitted. to kind of, you know, follow that one either. So what we've got is basically uh, a lot of indicators that are, you know, sense and price movements. Um, and that's that's what we develop. Um, so let me show you the, uh, the trade performance and how to get to it. So to get to the trade performance, you go to new. You left-click into new. 
and then then click on this you know right here it says trade performance order filled it'll pop open this order filled. this screen right here uh, once inside this screen I like to you know go get my dates uh, set up so you know from the first to the 15th uh, and then this is kind of a little bit of a trick right here but this is a little filter and order filled. it's good to, to click that because then it gives you the ability to you know not click them all but uh, just go down to the ones that you want to individually look at uh, but look at the data on this thing Uh, for the signal B, and it didn't tra take trades every day, uh, maybe I didn't have it on or whatever, but it's at $6,900 for the month. So that's kind of the way you would look at that. And then, you know, if, if you're trying to trade like Apex and all these accounts, you want to make sure that, you know, can it handle uh, the drawdowns, for example. Um, the way you can kind of do that is you go into trades and again I mentioned earlier it really matters at what time you start them and you know these are started at 5 in the morning automatically they wake up on their own but as you know when we just put these on these Apex accounts we just started them at any random time throughout the morning so maybe it was like you know 9.45 or whatever it might be uh, so that matters a lot but on the sim data that we've got, they all are waking up and going to bed at the exact same times, and they all should take about the exact same trades. Uh, but what, what happened here is this one started, and it took its first trade uh, on the first at 5.23 in the morning. Again, it wakes up at 5. Apparently, it didn't see the, um, the ability to take its first entry till uh, 5.23. Um, but it made the first trade, it made its first victory. So if I would have been trading this uh, Apex account here, this eval, you know, obviously that's a, that's a huge trade. And that put you in a great position to make it to payday right there. So that would have flipped over to a PA right there at, at that point at 2,000 bucks. Um, so this is kind of the way you can look at, you know, hey, can I possibly trade this one and make it to payday? Well, it took how many losers in a row? So that's one way I also look at it. You know, if we just look at data and just try to use data to be our guide of, of where to go next, um, you know, you would have to have an account that could handle, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight hundred and fifty dollar drawdowns before it took a victory. Uh, so that's why a lot of times, you know, if you're trading these bigger uh, Apex account, you may want to go down to the micros so you can handle a little bit uh, Order submitted. a little bit more uh, losses in a row. But uh, the way the way this one worked, obviously, it came out of the gate swinging, and you know has been rolling since. Uh, never never looked back. Order filled. And what I'm looking at here is the cumulative profit. Uh, what it's doing is it's just, you know, if it loses, it subtracts the 150. Loses, subtracts another 150. Once it made the 900, boom, added it up. So anyway, it's at about 7000 bucks right now. Hey, hey, Dan. Good morning. Appreciate you joining us, Dan. Uh, yeah, he's using the Chart VPS uh, with a dedicated server. I think you're kind of the lead dog there, Dan, when it comes to servers. When I'm looking at the Discord and I was mentioning that I was checking it out you probably heard that that's why I put it but uh, you know thanks a lot for sharing all your information really truly appreciate that it's super helpful to to the whole community order submitted. And, and we really thank you for that order filled yeah Mauricio we uh, it's been coming up so there's obviously something there that uh, Sergio needs to kind of work through uh, we haven't seen it yet. He does have a M and Q running on one of his machines in his office, um, but there's definitely something there from what we understand. The lag times on the M and Q, and I see you're putting the MES as well. So, I'll um, after the after the live today, Sergio and I are going to meet for a little while, and that'll be one of our one of our topics that we discuss. And as I was mentioning to the other client, Mauricio, if, uh, if you have time today and you can get into uh, Charles's calendar, 
uh, we'd love that or, to order happen. submitted. And uh, Sergio will be able to jump in with you. Yeah, thanks again, Dan. That's nice. Um, so let me uh, write that now. At the end order of submit. Just, uh, order filled. I was wondering why I wasn't taking trades here. I uh, probably don't have it enabled back here. Order filled. I don't. Order filled. Okay. So we're going to enable this guy. Uh, I didn't have it enabled here. So as soon as 440 sees another uh, entry, uh, we'll go ahead and take it here. Order submitted. Oh, we got a nice trade going on in gold again. Wow, signal A again. Man, how much is this one? Order today? filled. Well, it's already at two grand. Uh, we do have a new parameter. If you're just joining us, I want to kind of share that with you. Uh, it's called Exit on, well, the uh, marker here calls it Exit on pro Proximity, but it's really a profit window. Uh, that we've uh, added to the parameter settings. Um, so in this case, gold here, uh, and I do have it running on every strategy now, and Order it'll come filled. out to you guys on Wednesday. But right here's a great example. If we get 10 ticks away from our uh, our profit target here, and then price retraces on us, uh, we, would, um, we would exit on proximity. We had a couple earlier this morning I was just showing. Uh, so we hit a target there. Um, Guess they were much earlier this morning. <laughs> what time is it? Oh my, this had a lot of trades today. Uh, we Order had two of filled. them. Yeah, we had a, so here we had a long exit on proximity. You can't really see it on probably your end there, but there's a little uh, purple uh, sideways triangle right inside of here where it exited. Um, again, we didn't hit the, profit target but again it retraced on us so what a great parameter uh, Rory got it from you guys here on YouTube um, when he was uh, broadcasting someone mentioned it and uh, we we asked Sergio to program it and he's got it all set up for us uh, we also had it here on the same strategy this morning so uh, we were in a short trade and um, it didn't hit the profit target uh, but it uh, exited on uh, the proximity window so it got within the profit range and then price you know started getting away from us and it closed the trade for us i think it's going to be a great parameter really really excited about it it looks like it's doing really well here this morning wow getting a lot of trades gold's really moving today guys really really moving sweet So we're going to take another trade here if we can get into her. Order submitted. Going to have to try to retrace going up. Order oh, filled. Oh boy. A little bit of a free fall now. Mm. Signal B is going to start coming up here it looks like. Got the bot moving up. Order filled. Oops. Oh, David. You know, we already have him programmed, David, so we've already looked at, you know, but you could look at the data a hundred different ways. Um, we already have them Order optimized, submitted. you know, to the last time we looked at the data. Uh, so they're waking up and going to bed at, you know, our our best times that we have the data for already. Um, Order. So Order we continue submitted. to do that every Friday. We, we look at them and, you know, try to do an analysis and, and see what windows of opportunity are the best for us. Um, 
but as you start to you know dig in into your own live account you know there's it's good to do due diligence and just make sure that it's uh you know most recent for you on your machine Um, no, I, uh, David's question here is, do I run uh, signal A and B and let the drone choose the trade? Uh, no, unfortunately, um, it's a one or the other kind of proposition. Uh, actually, we do have the ability. This is pretty, that's a great question now that I kind of think about it a little bit deeper. You can have both signals uh, fire. So you can have an A and a B on the same account. Um, so we actually used to do that you know, quite a bit is have the same strategy, have a signal A entry and a signal B entry. Uh, so either one of them will take the trade for you. Uh, but now I've got them all just individually. So either a signal A entry or a signal B. Uh, I don't have them uh, with both on any of them. We do have a lot of flexibility in this software though that you can you can put uh, both of them on a strategy if you want, you know, have them both uh, enter as entries for you. So good, we got a trade copy or trade going on here. Um, we're hoping to push up above, uh, boy, I can't remember, guys, can anybody remember? Is it 80 ticks, 60 ticks, something like that? And then we'll pop our uh, our stop up. Um, so we need Order to get filled. to... I think it's 300 bucks, so 60 ticks, I believe. No, um, uh, 80. Let me, let me do the calculator. How many ticks is that? Divide by 300 bucks I think we uh, we move filled. up to uh, to 55 bucks so we're hoping we hoping we see the $300 window there that's when it takes the pressure off the trade um, I want to just show that we are uh, we're using a trade copier this morning uh, trying to to multiply our success here kind of bring it over and just show you a little bit about it so here I'm, uh, I'm running this, this account, Order happens submitted. to be this one right here. And uh, when it takes the trade, it's going to also um, send that trade over to these other ones that are green here. And then they take the trade also. Uh, what you'll notice is that they don't take the exact same entry, really just like a SIM account or a live account. I mean, they're all trying to buy the, the contracts at the same time. Um, so you'll end up with a few ticks uh, difference in, in all of them. Order filled. Uh, but it, it's a general, the general idea. It takes, you know, basically the same, same entries. We'll hope this, uh, hope this volume zone here can hold. Doesn't look good though. Order filled. Nope. Okay, Order we're still filled. doing all right. We're still above water on most of those there. Uh, the uh, the strategy that we're running on that one is this uh, this one right here, uh, NQ30 range signal AAI drone. And a lot of people ask me, hey, what do you trade? How do you know what to trade? Well, this is how I know, or this is how I trade. Whatever ones are doing the best, those are the ones that I use. Uh, again, I kind of showed the, the gold signal B um, and signal A. I used the signal A this morning on my PA account. It took a nice entry. I closed it out once I felt like I was up a decent amount. I got 422 on that particular trade. Um, and then when we started uh, sort of doing this here, we switched to the, uh, the NQ30 range. <laughs> this thing was, it was up like four grand a minute ago. 
Uh, so, you know, th- th- that's Order kind of how I, I love this one anyway. This has always been my favorite is the uh, NQ30 range, uh, Signal A. It catches them early. It catches trades super early. Um, but it gets in a lot of trades, too. We have a lot of filters in the background. Order but um, I found that we're more profitable when we don't use a lot of the filters. And I know that doesn't make sense. So I I wish it didn't, but uh, that's the case. Uh, so we're uh, order filled. We're flying without a lot of filters order here submitted. for entries. We're using the uh, our modified Laguerre to to enter these trades. Hey, Mohammed. Good morning. Yeah. So these uh, these bots, um, I call them shifts, just like a like an employee. They uh, they work their shift. So order we have filled. time windows. Uh, inside the parameters here i'm going to go ahead and uh, just open a skeleton order, order fill. so if you if you wanted to you know create a strategy uh, a new one i'll show you the settings here but yeah we, we created three windows for you so um uh, down here this is the shift i'll open up uh, this drone that we're trading So here, this one wakes up at 8.30 in the morning and it goes to bed at noon. Uh, we did uh, just recently create a couple of uh, uh, new features, and this is one of them. Uh, we added a second trading hour, so you can now pop out a second one, and even a third one if you if you found there was you know some sweet spots uh, where the market's hot. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, program the, the bots now to have uh, three different shifts. I used to be in manufacturing, and that's perfect because you always have three shifts usually, unless you're doing 12-hour shifts and you got two. But uh, three shifts. So we just uh, we just rocked with a lot of trades right there. We uh, order took submitted. that trade on. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, seven accounts. Order submitted. Order filled. Again, we're hoping for that 300 mark here. Got close right there. We're hoping for that 300, then we pop up to make 50 bucks and kind of takes the pressure off the trade. We can't get to the 300. Order filled. Uh, our risk is still out there. That's what I mean about takes the pressure off. It takes the, uh, the $250 loss and makes it a $50 win right away and then allows the trade to, to move. There we go. Awesome. So we got a good trade there. That one uh, sealed in our. Uh, it's really fifty-five bucks, but you you lose. I think it's around four bucks uh, for the brokerage fees. So I always call them a fifty-dollar trade. That's how much you end up with your pocket after the trade's over. That's why I say fifty bucks. Got to pay the house, baby. Got to pay the house. Order filled. Okay, we're okay with that. We got our uh, got our fifty dollar bill. Let's take a look at that entry. Um, compare it to the sim account here. I'll change this background. Uh, to change a background, if you guys are interested, you just can uh, right-click anywhere in the chart. I'll go down here to Properties. Um, it's right here. This is the setting. So I just kind of have some screenshots that I have saved here in the background. So the uh, the sim account entered at uh, eighteen one eighty two point five, and our live account entered at eighteen one eighty two point five. So it looks like the exact same entry. This one's an eval account here. This one's a sim account. What we try to do is just show that they take about the same trades. So when we show you how much profit they make, that we're not you know feeding you no line of uh, of bull crap there. So this is a real deal when we. When we show the money, it's it's real. It's um, even though it seems too good to be true, 
and usually is, this is one situation that it's really surprising that it's not. I mean, I used to, before I bought, so I bought this business like a year and a half ago. Uh, before I bought the business, I was a trader and I was just trading on my phone, you know, during work and, um, you know, catching the high flyers. That's what I used to always call them. Order filled. Uh, the, the, the top gainers of the day. Um, and trying to, you know, momentum trade them. So gold, boy, we got a big nugget there. And so this really is my sweet spot. This is momentum trading too. Um, and that's what my other trading was that I really loved was momentum trading. So yeah, I always wished that I could have automated it back then. I mean, man, I had to always, you know, stick around really close to the phone because you had to be ready to sell it right away because in the matter of milliseconds, you can lose quick money. Um, so, boy, I always wished I could, could have had a uh, auto trader back then. Order filled. We need one big trade here, guys, and we can make these things flip over quickly. Just got a text message from David Wise. Uh, David's our uh, options, uh, professional options trader. And man, is he on a win streak, guys. I don't know if you guys like to trade options, but man, he makes us a lot of money. Uh, we send out, uh, well, he does. He sends out text messages with trades for options. In January, he hit 22 out of 22, correct. He uses our software, but I have no idea. He used our, our Compass trading system. Um, Man, I have no idea how he does it, but he's got a team too. So he's got a team of uh, of uh, guys who help him uh, here in Discord. Um, so David's channel is here. Uh, Doctor No and, and Savvy Trader, uh, a couple of guys that um, uh, help him trade uh, and and help communicate and you know create uh, all kinds of stuff. Um, anyway, he just sent out this trade here on uh, I guess it's Marvel. Um, so that's that's kind of the way you would get a uh, an options trade, and you know if you would join us uh, with the Compass Options Alert, that's his service. Um, you know this you'll have access to all this. You can go back and see, and and they put on you know these guys do a lot of really great information uh, sharing here of you know different things that you can uh, look at or you know some you know fresh news that's coming out or whatever. So uh, they really do a nice job in that options room. And uh, if you're not a, a member of our uh, Auto Trader yet, this is our Auto Trader Discord. And, and those of you who are, thank you very much for helping other people. I see Dan here, Gills, uh, David, Kim, you guys are all members. Thank you so much, um, you know, for sharing, you know, with other people of, you know, what's working good for you, what's not. Uh, a lot of good information on uh, VPSs and, and different things here. And if you have any problems, um, you come in here, up here, We've got this calendar link. Charles is awesome. Like, this guy is just a, a, an outstanding human being. And uh, we'll really take good care of you, get your system up and rolling. So, Muhammad, I see if, you know, once we purchase, uh, yes, we do full installation. Charles will do it, uh, do the install for you. And it's a matter of minutes uh, to get it rolling. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a turnkey setup, uh, full turnkey setup. Okay, so we caught this uh, this short entry here, and we're hoping that uh, you know psychologically, I always ho hope price goes up. Order submitted. Uh, just because you know filled. I want the economy to do good and everything, but when you're in a short trade, you kind of hope it goes down. So it's a little bit of a a tug of war you get in here. Order filled. All right, we missed that one.
don't want to get whipsawed here. We, uh, this one goes to bed at noon, so we got a little bit more time left. You know, it gets a little weaker um, as time, you know, goes by. Order nine thirty is hot. Eight thirty is usually hot. Nine thirty is hot, and ten o'clock is hot. After that, it's a little bit of a whipsaw, typically on the NQ, as we all know. And uh, kind of go to the leaderboard here. Looks like you know my thirty range signal A drone, the one that we're trading here, is it came out swinging and made some huge trades right away. Uh, couple of thousand dollar winners uh, given a little bit back since but uh, it was up to four grand here uh, this morning the haymaker tapped out early uh, that one uh, we have going to bed at two thousand bucks once it makes two thousand it goes to sleep the bot same thing it made its two thousand and went to sleep Other ones of interest, uh, you know, besides these NQs, would be these uh, GC. Looks like these other, uh, the other one to trade today would have been GC. Uh, Signal A really, really smoked it. Up to twenty one hundred bucks here. Caught that long entry, the last winner. Made it all the way to profit target. Um, for those of you who maybe just joined us and, and haven't heard, but we had you know added a couple new features uh, to the software. I am testing them here. I did write a couple of notes that we have to you know do a little bit of fixing here. But uh, the the new you know sort of the really exciting new feature, at least for me right now, is this one back here. I'll just go back a little bit. Sorry about this uh, quick uh, move here. Uh, but we're going to go back to the earlier trades. I just want to show the uh, the new signal, uh, the exit that we have. Uh, it's called, um, when it marks it on the chart, it'll say exit on proximity. But Order we created submitted. a window, a window that um, as you get close to your profit Order target, filled. if you don't hit it and you put a certain amount of ticks in there, it'll lock in profit. Uh, so it's a window that you put how many ticks away from your profit target you want it to be. And if it clicks into that window, it allow the price to go that many ticks away and then close the trade for you. Uh, and here, it worked here for the short trade earlier. And then it made a long trade and it had the same, same exit. So it didn't make the profit target, but it got into the latch, latched in as price started to slip away, it closed the trade. Order filled. We really think it's going to preserve capital uh, doing this. So I've got all my strategies uh, converted, and they all have this in them now. So we took another short trade here. We're really, really hopeful. Hmm. Order filled. Order filled. If we hit three hundred, we can uh, we can lock in that profit there of fifty bucks. It's always the number I shoot for to see the 300, and then we're good. Almost got her. So yeah, you had the trade copier and the auto trader, and I'm telling you, you can make some serious money really, really quick. I've made a lot of money, guys. A lot of money. More than I ever thought I would. It just adds up so quick when you multiply it like you can. And I'm not sure how many the limit is. I think you can trade 20 accounts at the same time. Uh, right now I'm trading, I think it's, uh, what is it, one, two, three. Seven. I think it's seven here right now. So even seven times 50 bucks is 350 bucks on one trade. Order filled.
coach was asking me for some inside, you know, information or, or whatever, like, hey, which one should I trade? I said, go look at, you know, let's go look at your data. That's the only thing that I do. I, I, I can't predict the future. I have no idea. All I know is what happened in the past, and we can try to use that that information to support where we go next. Um, so whatever's doing good, you know, right here, that's why we're showing it live every day uh, so that we can share up-to-date information. Um, don't post it in, you know, Discord later when it's over. No, right now. What's going on right now? Right now we got a huge juicy trade. Yeah, yeah, Gills. This is uh, this is exactly what happens. Um, this is a the, all these that I trade are they call them two. Oh, I'm sorry, they, I can bring Apex over. Let me do that. Let me let me get it situated, Gills, over here on the other screen, and I'll bring open um, the uh, Apex website and try to share what I can. Oops, on that side. Yeah, because I really didn't know how to trade. <laughs> I didn't really know how to trade these prop accounts until probably. Hmm. I don't know if I've been trading them for six months now or not. Probably, maybe, maybe six months. I've uh, been trading prop account. I used to just do my live account, but I found that most, not most, a lot of traders like to trade the prop account. So I kind of started to get it, you know, dabble with that, and I prefer it now. It's way less risky. <laughs> way less risky I still trade my live account up here but um, you know to share you know information and really add up serious money you know using this trade copier is unbelievable I I'm surprised they don't make it illegal it, it seems like you're cheating when you're doing this um, but I'm just gonna bring open uh, apex a little bit because I didn't know how to go in here either I had to ask Charles you know about six months ago hey how do you you know, what are prop accounts? What do you, how do you, you know, how do you get them? How do you set them up? You know, the whole story of how to, how to, how to, how to. Um, so I don't know everything either. I'm still learning, you know. But uh, what I do know is I've tried a lot of them, made a lot of money. Um, and I can probably, uh, we got a good looking trade here. We got this, uh, this volume zone here is going to give us grief here. But, um, We'll see. We're gonna go ahead and squeeze this one out. That zone we don't need to don't need to be a hero here. Let's take our three hundred dollars or whatever we get and you know, get in the next Order trade. Filled. Oops. So we'll go ahead and enter this long trade here too. Now that we close that one, you can see this cross pop back in. Signal A is active. As soon as this candle closes, it'll uh, it'll enter the trade. As long as all the other conditions are are met. What I do kind of not like is I, I'm now out of sequence with the SIM account. Uh, our last entry, we can just kind of show this one here if I can get to it. I'm going to move the cross out of this entry. I just want to show the entry just to show that SIM and a live account take them at about the same time. So uh, our, our live account entered at 18188.5 and the sim entered at 188.5. So uh, right on right on the, on the dot. Okay, good, Dan. So you're following your strategies are, are following our, our leaderboard here pretty good today. That's that's great news. Is that is that what you're saying there? Oh, crap. Uh, when I close them like that, it shut it down, so I had to restart it. Oh, no. No, it didn't.
440, yeah. Just kind of show the um, trade copier, Replicanto Flowbots, that's what I use. Um, to set it up, you just, you just literally, you can set it on any account that you have. Uh, earlier, we are just using this, um, this one right here, this 30 Rain Signal A drone. Um, that's one way of doing it. Or you can, you know, create a new strategy uh, of the drone and put it on an Apex account and then use that Apex account to trade as your leader. Uh, that's what I'm doing. So the drone is trading um, this Apex account and then it trades these other follower accounts with it. So and you guys have seen it here doing the trading. Um, let's try to get my head straight here. Which uh, trade? Let's take a look at these parameters for a split second. Edit strategy. 8.30 to noon. So this is the uh, the shift. This one's working. And then I modified the profit, uh, daily profit and loss target to kind of keep it within the window of, of some of these uh, strategies to get them to payday. I needed about 1,500 in some of them. So I was going to stop it at 1,500 and then I could go down in the hole 625 uh, plus whatever I was up already, so that was why I put that to 1200. Just want to make sure everything's set, and I've got some volume zone filters here. This is the ATM that's uh, that's going on, so everything's looking good. That's the so this is the the account that we're using is that Signal A drone, and um, it's trading it in this uh, Apex account, so everything looks good there for me. We'll take the next uh, should take the next cross entry. Uh, but what I want to do is um, take a quick break, and I'm going to come back and show the uh, um, Apex website. So I'm going to take a, a quick uh, five-minute break, and I'll uh, be back in about five to show the uh, uh, Apex website and what I've learned so far with that one. Order filled. Okay, and we're trading, and we're moving.
order submitted. Yeah, I just wanted to mention, um, I don't know if you guys are, you know, into it, but uh, the, the, today is tax day, and today is the last day that you can um, make this thing called mark the mark to market election. Uh, it's called the uh, 475F election, Order filled. and it's uh, meant for day traders only, and it really gives us a nice kickback uh, to take our. Okay, first of all, I'm not a, I'm not a lawyer either. <laughs> Disclaimer. Uh, but I've been doing a lot of research on this uh, topic. And today is the last day that you can file your 475S election. Sorry, 475F election. Let me write that in here. Critical. Critical. If you if you want to try to save money on taxes, this one is, is definitely an opportunity. Um, 475F election. And it's called um, order submitted. I didn't put that in there. Okay. Oh, there it goes. Um, it's called Mark, which is cool. That's my name. Mark to market. If you're interested, you could do some research on it, and, and today is the day that you have to file by uh, to get your um, day trading wins or losses um, where they're able to be uh, used as um, a normal expense. So let's say I lost, you know, ten thousand dollars this year. If I if I do this 475F election, I can write that down as as just like I paid a contractor to do work for me. You know, it's it's a it's a write off. So, uh, and and wins are the same way. Um, so, it's something to look at if if you're you know going to be a day trader or are a day trader. Uh, there are a lot of rules about you know making sure that you you trade. I think it's like two or three trades a day, and you have to be continuous. So you have to do it for like eighty percent of the year. There's a lot of different uh, rules. I think um, I think one of the numbers I heard is around two hundred. Um, no. Might have been. I don't remember. There's there's a lot of little rules, but maybe talk to your CPA or uh, uh, get some legal advice. But it's a nice election. I'm I'm making it this year. I uh, didn't make it last year. Didn't even know about it. Uh, but doing taxes this year in, in research, I found out that it was a smarter idea to do that. So I'm doing it this year. Okay, if we can get a home run here, guys, we're going to get this one to, uh, to PA status, I think. We need to push this thing up pretty big, though. Mm. Triple top. Triple top. This one's going to be a sinker here soon. Ooh, boy. Let's close this one off. I have a feeling this one's going down in a minute. It's triple top. There Order. she goes. Order filled. Bottom gonna fall out of this one, huh? All right, that one got us in a nice trade right there. I didn't see that one coming. I wouldn't have never took that long trade. Whew. I didn't think I would have took that one. All right, I think that puts me in a good position to close the uh, the YouTube out here today. Oh, no, no, I want to show, I'm sorry, <laughs> I wanted to show one more thing. I want to show you guys what I know about APEC so far. Um, Order filled. Okay, we got the short trade, the one that I wanted. Sorry about this. <laughs> APEX, where are you? I'll open it here. Sometimes I'm a little too transparent. I show things of my account that I, people are like, why did you show that? Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it, whatever. But Order I don't submitted. care. It's part of doing business the way I look at it. 
Um, so let's uh, let's just kind of bring it open over here. So if you uh, were interested in uh, joining a, a prop company, the only one that I've ever used so far was Apex. I again didn't really know about Order any of submitted. them until recently. I think maybe six months or so. Uh, but um, inside of here, once you get here, uh, I go down here uh, to this uh, little icon, and I use this one down here at the bottom, this $100,000 static uh, rhythmic. Um, and the reason I use this one, I've, I've, I've passed uh, this one, this one, and the big one. I've passed the 300, but it just drives me crazy keeping up with this, uh, this drawdown that's always there next to me. Um, the the trailing drawdown uh, when you use this static one um, it stays at six hundred and twenty five dollars negative so if I start trading and I lose six twenty five I'm out let's say I start trading and I make a thousand right out of the gate though now I can go down one thousand six hundred and twenty five that's the big difference uh, so you know, if you can sort of nurse them right at the beginning, uh, then you get them to where I call it, like, now these are all free reign. You know, I can take, you know, two or three losers here without paying attention to it um, and hope for one of those home runs. Uh, so that's why I take these uh, these statics here. Order filled. Uh, once you go here, um, now, you know, it's just kind of a bunch of check boxes. Um, I use an Amex uh, American Express card, so you, you know, you would pick, I have to pick this one Order or this filled. one uh, for the American Express card. Uh, and then I think I have a coupon code that we put in our um, our YouTube uh, comment section. If you would use that one, if not, no problem. Um, I do get a kickback, or our company does, uh, if you do use it. And it's a nice kickback. I was really surprised. It's about a 3 or $4 kickback every time someone buys a uh, Apex account and uses our code so so thank Order you for filled. doing that if you, if you do uh, but then you just kind of you know hit these uh, okay's here or whatever um, so I'm going to uh, see if I buy one will it cause me yeah I really don't know what it'll do I don't really want to show my card number if it, if it would do that it would be not good for me so uh, anyway, you would you click those, uh, click this last one, and then it goes to the next screen where you put your credit card information in. I think that's about it. Um, Order we'll filled. Open this up a little bit bigger, because uh, then it shows it better here. You know, this is you'd show it there. Boom, that one. Uh, some other kind of neat ones here, maybe um, account summary. Uh, it'll show you where your um, where you're at. Yeah, I told you I had a bad day Friday. Order I lost $1,400 in this darn PA account, but it's it's well over the, the threshold to get paid. So, But I do have to trade it 10 days before you get paid. Uh, so that's submitted. the way that one works. The other screen that's, that's pretty good is your dashboard. Uh, you'll just, you know, these are all your accounts that Order you have. Um, if you If you do bust one, it's really critical that you go in and you cancel it because they'll uh, they'll keep charging your monthly fee if you don't. Uh, so you would just go into here into your dashboard order, and, and order hit cancel. Filled. Um, when you hit cancel, or, order filled. I don't want to do that. Let's see. I think I have order. one busted here that I can cancel. Order filled. Yeah, number 442. Make sure. Order filled. Forty-two. Yeah. Yeah. So to cancel account, um, you just go find the number here, and then hit this cancel cancel account. I just always hit no need. <laughs> I don't need it anymore. Uh, boom. Cancel subscription. 
And now you have to go back to it, find it again, and hit this little button here. Remove it from the dashboard. Order filled. So now it won't show up on that dashboard that we're looking at on the other screen. So that's kind of, you know, once you get to payday, um, you know what, we'll wait, we'll flip one of these over and we'll, uh, we'll do the, um, how to, how to get it paid, uh, out here the next, uh, the next time if we can flip one of these over. That's a little bit about the, uh, the Apex and Rhythmic, uh, dashboard stuff. Um, Steve, good morning. I don't know, uh, I, I assume that's my account number, and then that's the number of the uh, particular account. So again, I'm at number 440. I've used the heck out of them. I've, uh, I've used 440 of them. Um, and I have, uh, I think my PAs are at, um, I think 60 something so uh, that's kind of my ratio okay let me bring open this uh, window we'll, uh, we'll go back around the horn here and close her down for the day uh, so we, we did okay we um, had a nice day of trading <laughs> Had a nice day of trading. We made some money in a few few accounts here this morning. Um, so our Trader Pro, when you delete account out of there, um, it forces you to shut it back down and restart it, and that's what it, that's what it was doing when it was dinging over here. So that's kind of the uh, the scoreboard for today. Um, the uh, this one PA had 422. Uh, these um, evals looks like we made about 100 dollars, 150 or so a piece, and then this one I lost about 400. Um, oh, okay, yeah, Steve, I'm not sure. I uh, can't find anyone that will tell me where the the long string goes. Yeah. I'm not familiar with what um, I'm not familiar with what, what that is either. I, I thought you meant this um, like account number, but I'm not sure what a long string is either. License string, license string, license string. Starting with Apex Go, please. Hmm, that one's got me stumped too. Not familiar. Um, if you wanted to put one on a live account, I guess um. Order filled. Yeah, maybe that's. Uh, let me let me show you how to put one on an account if that's kind of where you're heading, and maybe you can tell me in the chat if that's what you're mentioning, like how to put it on a an account. Maybe they won't show you that because that's our stuff. Um, so for example, let's 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 find the best one. Uh, we'll go to the second best one so we don't have to reset that one. But let's say we want to put this, uh, you know, this account to work here. Uh, we're going to go over to the Strategies tab. And we, you know, again, you guys would do this on your machine if we load you up with the software. 
uh, this is how you would put an account on your Apex account if that's what you wanted to do. So you would you would Order take the filled. one you know that's doing good Order or whatever. Submitted. You right click on it. You go to edit strategy. Scroll down to the spot where it says account under setup where it says account and now Order you filled. would move it to your your live account, your eval account or whatever. Um, so you'd hit that and hit OK and then re-enable and now you're off to the races. She's live and live and kicking. So that's how you, you know, if that's, I don't think that's what you were asking but that's how that's how you would put it on a live account if that's what you were doing. So cool, we got another another trade here that just happened uh, behind the scenes. The auto trader jumped in on its own. Fully automated system. This is a fully automated uh, system. Um, we sell it uh, monthly, annually, or a lifetime license. Uh, we're at rightlinetrading.com. And um, the... Uh, the system's been rolling, and, and we've got a lot of our own clients here in the in the uh, live today, and and they can you know say how they're doing on their machines, but I, I assume they're very similar results. Um, they're not identical. That's something that um, I always try to throw out those disclaimers. These are not identical. In fact, look at let's look at this entry. So this is another example of a, I call it a, like a live account. This is not my live money account. This isn't my bank account. This is a, an evaluation account, but it's still, you know, somewhat live. And um, I'm just trying to move the price around so we can see it. But uh, this one took it at, looks like a 190, no, 180, sorry, 199.75. Man, that was hard to see. I'm trying to look right here at this number. This one took it at 198.75, so one tick off. So this one, I'm sorry, one point. So this one is a little bit further than normal. Yeah, that one's four ticks. Okay, so this one's a, a bigger difference than normal. A lot of them are the same. A lot of them are one tick, you know, and then it sort of starts to get, you know, a few three, a few four, rare five, and then... Uh, I've seen six, seven, and I've even seen eight, eight ticks of difference. So uh, they won't be exact, uh, but they'll be somewhat similar. So we sealed in our 50 bucks. If we uh, order if filled, we get out of this trade we'll be out with a order filled. 50 dollar bill and take it down to the bank and close the uh the live session out this morning appreciate everybody joining us this morning and uh if you haven't bought the auto trader yet please join us at rightlinetrading.com and check out our order filled. our website and um what we have to offer there got a lot of different systems and uh got a really hot options trader too david wise man Whew. Order. All right. Order great. submitted. Hundred dollar bill in that one. All right, guys. Really appreciate joining the Auto Trader Journey. Rory Powers should be in the seat tomorrow, so uh, I'll probably maybe see you maybe Friday again. So hope everybody has a great week uh, trading and. Uh,